Hi, Maddie. Is it the markers? Yeah, they're markers. Markers? Uh-huh. What are you doing? Where's Sissy? I know. Where is it? Here. Oh, she's... Huh? What do you want? And the what? Red table. Here. Okay. Markers. Yeah, markers. Careful. Watch what you're doing, okay? Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, so today is going to be another plan with me video. This is going to be for the week of September 7th through September 13th. This is how my week turned out this past week. You guys know I did like a black, gray, and pink, um, I guess like a floral. It, I mean, it really didn't have too much floral, just a couple of little accent pieces, nothing crazy, but I mainly was going for for the um, black, pink, and gray look, and I really liked the way that it turned out. Again, I had lots of room to write things, to add things in. Um, I am still loving this area here with the hydrate bottle and then putting what we ate, and I'm so proud of us. We did not have one single night of takeout, not one. And I'm so excited because the week before, we had three, no, four nights of takeout, which is way too much ridiculous. So we cooked at home every day this week, which I was really excited for. I loved this, like, to do, to clean. It just turned out really great. I loved it. The numbers even grew on me, even though they're huge. Let's go ahead and get into the um, week. This week, I want to do a, for a floral theme from the sticker, from this, oh my god, I can't even talk. Using this sticker set from Rory Sweet Addiction. Um, you guys will see this in an upcoming Etsy sticker haul as well. This is like completely floral roses, but it is with pink and green. And this green matches the September colors really nicely. I don't want to completely shy away from the purple, so I am also going to incorporate some purple from these two kits. This is Paws Paper. I think this is her September kit. But you can see the greens here don't match. This is like a light minty green, but I do want to use some of the purples. And then I have this kit from McKeaton and Co. And um, I just wanted to incorporate some of the purples on that one as well. I also have some of my basic stickers, Rory Sweet Addiction mail and envelope stickers for Etsy, my stickerific planner stickers, and then this one from Happy Doodle stickers. You guys saw I did a whole spread with this back to school. Um, I just want to use one of these stickers to mark no school for today for the girls. And then of course I have a bunch of my own stickers. All of these are already in the shop. Some of them are new releases like these. New releases um, but they're already in the shop. And then these I did want to show you guys. You guys left me so many amazing comments on what to do with the work section here and I kind of took a bunch of comments and made them my own. <laughs> so a lot of you um, kind of agreed to do like three different sections so that's what I did and I did it in multicolors to match my headers so that I had more of a variety so this is one big sticker and you'll kind of see when I lay it down it says work Etsy and YouTube so this will be if I'm working at the hospital if I have anything for Etsy and or and or YouTube so sometime during the week they're gonna be blank areas if I don't have anything going on but that's okay I don't mind that so I'm gonna use these three here and I meant to show you guys the washi that I got this is all well let's see all of these are recollections brand from Michaels a bunch of you said you didn't really care for recollections brand I don't have a problem with it at all but I don't know maybe it's just me I got two of these um, chevron washi in purple and lime green and then I have four skinny washi green which is not as lime as I like it to be but whatevs two different purples and a light pink and then I want to see if I can go ahead and incorporate this grass, wa grass washi somewhere because it is Labor Day week and uh, I haven't yet to use it so <laughs> we'll see about that and then for pins I wanted to give you guys options because I always tend to use the same pins so I typically will use a paper mate flare or my Statler black pin and do all color and then write in black I think this week I'm gonna try and write in colored pins and I'm gonna see how it goes if I don't like it I will go to black next week but I am going to try it because lots of people seem to like it. So uh, three different options, all pink, purple, and lime green. These are the Erin Condren pins. Um, this one is from the original 
pack, I forget what it's called, but the original marker pack, and then this is from the new Live Life Color Pack. These are uh, Paper Mate Flare Pins, so a purple, or a light purple, a lime green, and a light pink. And these, I think, are from two different packs, the Tropical Pack and the regular pack. And then I have three Statler Tri Plus, Tri Plus, oh my gosh. <laughs> Tri Plus Fine Liner Pens in Lime Green, Dark Purple, and Pink. And I have yet to decide which ones I want to use. I'm thinking Paper Mate, uh, the flares, just because the colors seem like they'll match a little bit better. But I'll kind of lay everything out and then write with them and then kind of see. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and lay out all of my washi. Look, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Mommy, what are Um... Planning. 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 Good girl. What are you doing? I'm reading a mail. Uh, okay. Mommy, what are you doing? I already told you. What do you do? I'm playing with stickers. I'm going to save the grass washi um, to see if I can lay it down somewhere else later because I don't know if it's going to match for sure and I don't want to put it and waste it just in case. So this is kind of a rough layout because like I don't like the way this green looks so I may change it and the pink is just kind of by its, by its lonesome. But we're gonna go with it and try and get this done. So I am going to go down, sorry you can probably hear the, hear the girls screaming in the background, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my headers and my new work Etsy YouTube headers and kind of see how this goes. Okay, so I got down all of my headers and it kind of is like coming together, I guess. I don't really know. I'm using like three different shades of green, two different shades of pink, four different shades of purple, but what is? It's cool. So these actually worked really nicely. You could see here how I was telling you it's like a little space for work for Etsy for YouTube. Um, and I mean, it worked out great. There is a lot going on in each one. So I'm considering somebody suggested doing like a today instead of personal and to do. And there's doing um, either decorations or a long list. And I may consider doing that next week so that I don't have so many headers in each row. But these stickers worked out great. You could tell it's like one sticker. The only thing is, is, I mean, I print my own, so it's not a huge deal. But if I were purchasing these, I use seven every week. So, you know, that's a lot if you're purchasing them. But if you only needed them a couple days a week, then, you know, that would work. Because even on the days that I work at the hospital, I still do Etsy and YouTube stuff. So it'll work okay for me. And we'll kind of play with it this week and see and then kind of go from there. So I took the weekend banner from the Rory Sweet Addiction um, area and then it also came with the um, like a full page of washi in the different colors which is cool. She has this set um, in different colors so like I could have got it in the purple and green to match this month but I really wasn't sure that I was going to use it and etc. She has it with the green with like every color you can think of so it's a really nice set and I don't think it was that expensive. I could be wrong but you know when I was looking through my collection for sets to do for this week. I really don't have that many sets like to do a whole week spread on so I really need to invest in some more. But now I'm going to go ahead and take a bunch of the checklists and stuff and go around and put checklists where I think I need it and my hydration bottles and all that good stuff.
here is my finished spread with all my stickers. All I need to do is go in and write everything. And as much as I really want to use my colored pens, like, I think I'm going to have to go with black. I know I freaking suck, but I really think this is just a ton of color. And I want to write with black. But these are beautiful. I just, uh, I can't bring myself to do it. So this week I'm just going to use my Paper Mate Flare in black. But let me talk to you guys about the spread. So I ended up using a lot of the Rory Sweet Addiction little sampler, the washi and stuff to kind of incorporate those colors. But I do feel like the purple pops out a ton, especially because I did use a lot of full box purples. Like just, I feel like it turned out really good, even though it's a very like springy, crazy mix of colors <laughs> like who would picture a lime green dark green dark purple light purple light pink dark pink like to go together but I actually think it turned out really good oh you know what I forgot to do is add some decoration okay not a ton but I added a couple little stickers um just to kind of bring in the roses and stuff but anyway I really like the way that it turned out I like this I, I think I'm going to like it We'll kind of see. I mean, my personal seems to be working out okay, but like I said, next week I may just try and do today and then just use both boxes as like just a list of stuff to do. We'll kind of have to play around with that and see, but I think I am going to like this because I'm able to fit my mailboxes in there to know when I need to go to the post office. Um, my YouTube seems like it'll work out good, and I, I think it's going to be... Okay, so I'm going to go in and write everything I have to do for the week, and then I will come right back. Okay, guys, so that is my finished spread. I filled in all the things that I kind of know I want to do um, throughout the week, and really, like, I didn't do a lot on my to-do, well, nothing, actually. I did nothing on my to-do list. I'm thinking about I'm not only putting, like, errands I need to run, places I need to go, um, things like I need to clean just around the house. Like you can see here, I use some laundry stickers because we desperately need to do laundry, just like different things like that. So again, like I'm kind of every week trying to play around with the spread and see what works best for me. I do feel like these stickers are going to work really nicely at keeping everything kind of separate down here. So I know exactly if I'm working at the hospital, what I'm doing for Etsy and what I need to be doing for YouTube that specific day. I really like the personal area. I think it's nice to just kind of see um, like what all I know I'm going to be doing that day. Like tomorrow, for instance, I have chiropractor in the morning, parent orientation in the evening, and then I'm having lunch with the girlfriend. So I know tomorrow I'm going to be super busy and my to-do list is probably going to be a little bit longer just because I'm not going to be at home a lot. So I know I'm going to need to get a lot done when I get home. And just, I don't know, I really like the way that it is coming out and how I've kind of been doing it. I like the color scheme, even though at first I thought it was going to be kind of weird. It ended up turning out fine. I like covering this area up over here and kind of putting just like a small to buy checklist because I don't really need to be buying a ton of stuff every week and then an overall to do checklist and then I kind of had been making this part to clean. I think I'm just going to keep it a to do just a full to do list and then like I said kind of put what I need to clean throughout the week and then last week I had my workout sticker down here because I didn't have any space. I didn't need this um, first day like I really didn't do a ton of stuff that day um, but I think I'm going to start putting it at the bottom left hand corner and I've been writing the workout there for 30 minutes and then kind of checking off what days I'm working out like last week I only did Monday Tuesday Thursday I really didn't work out over the weekend or anything like set working out so anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed even though it turned out kind of springy let me know in the comments down below what you thought next week um, I thought I was going to do a fall theme next week but fall doesn't actually begin autumn until the 23rd so I think I'm gonna do fall the last week of September so maybe give me some ideas for what you guys think I should do next week also don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next week bye